How's it going, everybody? Pete J for Pete J Play on Twitch. How's it Pete going, J on Pete YouTube. J play on Twitch. Um, on we YouTube. are. Play on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a little uh, mid afternoon matinee here, uh, a little Super Mega Baseball 3. Let me give you a little breakdown on what's happening. Uh, my brother in law, Tom, and I. Tommy G's gaming channel on YouTube is where you'll find the games. We have a season currently going on. Uh, we are the Phoenix B-Wolves, and uh, we are kind of in, in trouble here. <laughs> um, the first quarter of the game, the first 11, uh, the first 11 games, we went 4-7. and seven. We struggled mightily out of the blocks. The second um, 11 games, 12 to 12, the second, uh, yeah, um, 11 games, 12 to 23. Um, we did much better. We flipped it around, um, and we got ourselves going. The third quarter of the game, for, uh, third quarter of the season, we just wrapped up against the Herbisaurs game number 33, and we, we were back to struggling again. We were in first place when the third quarter started. We've kind of tumbled out. We are, at this point, a half game out of first behind the water bullets, and, uh, Pending the outcome of their next game, um, hopefully they'll lose and we'll be, you know, it'll be a three-way tie then for first place. Uh, us, the Water Bullets, and the Herb, these her the same herbivores who just beat us two games in a row here. Um, so we've we've been struggling, and and to be honest with you, all all season long, um, my offense has been poor. I'm not hitting home runs like I used to. Um, I don't have my RBI totals are down, so. Just not good times. So I'm going to just, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take an afternoon exhibition game here and I'm going to see if I can't, uh, see if I can't figure out what's going on with my game. I figure, uh, okay, we need to go to a different, we're looking for the gold coats. There they are. Okay. They are the away team. We're the home team. We're going to be playing at uh, Red Rock. That is our home field. Uh, we'll go random. We're going to go nine innings. We don't have the designated hitter, so we're just going to play out. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping that maybe I can get a little bit extra practice in. Who just pitched for us was Beavis Ortiz. So we're going to change up the pitcher here. And we're going to go with uh, Fran Japani, who's having a killer season this year. Outside of that, we're going to let it go. Um, this uh, lineup has a couple of players that are no longer with the team. Um, Kobe Kingman has long since departed. Uh, Johnson Swanson, the catcher, has also long since departed. So uh, we'll be playing with some uh, some fictional uh, some players that are no longer with us, but that's okay. Like I said, the main point of this is just to see if I, I can't figure out why I'm struggling so mightily at the bat. So here we go. I thought this would be nice too. Uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. I probably will play um, Car Mechanic Simulator uh, 2018 again a little bit later this afternoon because I'm addicted to that game. I love it. <laughs> I also picked up four more um, DLCs for it. So I'd like to see how that goes. I got my garage leveled up to level three, so I've got the paint room, the tuning room, I've got uh, all the battery charger, the uh, welder, the you know I got the interior detailing, so I got all of it. So it's kind of hard not to play it. But then I'm gonna get back. I got to get back to lawn mowing simulator. I got that, but that probably won't be today. Um, so I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with the change up to lead off here down in the lower inside corner. She hit that corner. You know that, Dad. We're gonna go slider up and up and away. Oop, that's a little too outside. That's okay. That's okay. Um, let's go. I'm gonna go hard fastball. Ugh. Okay. Hard fastball. Get the strike there. So they're giving us kind of a little bit more room on the left hand side. You can hear my my sticks. Oh my gosh! Come on, man. Gina Torrens. Oh, a little bit early dive. Ah, she's not gonna get her. Nope. 
Single, okay, so we got a little bit of the butterflies. Gina Torrens makes the throw to second. Better handshake. She's a killer better handshake. Okay, we're gonna start her off with something slow, a curveball. That'll travel about 79 miles per hour. Got some good aim there. That's popped up into the air. Kobe Kingman make, calling everybody off. Makes the catch, toss to first, but the runner's back. One down and runner first on base. Miller intense. Tense is, is up. Oof. She doesn't seem to be throwing with the amount of. Uh... That's in there for called strike. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to go another slider low and away. Slider low and away. Now it gets the corner. Ooh, there it is. Hanley Dexteris to Gina Torrens over to. Kobe Kingman for the double play. We're out of the top of the first. We're heading into the bottom of the first. Still no score. Handley Dexteris, Billy LeBoink, Buster Biggs going to face Bryce Leathers. Leathers. Bryce Leathers. All right, so let's. this is where I've been struggling, at the back here. So Handley Dexteris, neutral and fit, tough out utility player. He's a superstar in the league. That's what the S stands for. We're going to get down in that low corner here. That's outside ball. One good eye handling. That's ripped a little foul. I actually got out in front of that one. I think that's my problem is that I, my timing is off. Three balls and a strike to Hanley Dexteras. He's going to let that one go. Take the walk. Ball four. We got a, we got a speedy runner at first base with no outs. And in steps Billy LeBoink. He favors the high pitch. He's, uh, he's an elder statesman of the league. One of the older guys in the league. That's in there for a strike, but Billy LaPointe likes the high pitch. One's outside, ball two. Dexter's off with the pitch. He's in there with a stolen base. So Hanley Dexter is at second base with one no outs. Oh, that was a dumb swing. <laughs> Get back to second, Hanley. It's gonna drop. Nope. Kano, the center fielder, makes the catch for the first out. Hanley Dexter stays at second base. So with one down and a runner at second, in steps Buster Big, the left fielder. The left fielder. Come on, Buster. I was in there for called strike. That's a ball. Buster should be able to. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Should be able to hit a button and go cha charge the field, I think. That's up, ball two. Make him throw pitches. Nope. Okay, he's gonna move. Dexterous to third, but he was out. So runner at third base with two outs. Kobe Kingman's a home run hitter, but he struggles to make contact otherwise. I'm going here. One's in the dirt. Nope, 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 nope. Go back, get back, go back. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh. That was the home run pitch there. I don't know if we're going to get another one. Ah. Ground ball to the shortstop. L Masters over to Intense for the third out one. So we're going into the top of the second. Still no score. Lenny Masters, Bland, Piddle Sticks, and my Yegged. <laughs> Gonna face Japani through ten pitches. Now batting, the All right, let's go. I don't have to. We're not. Two. We're not doing the broadcast, so I can speed through this. <laughs> That's in there for goal strike. That's in there for goal strike. Oh yeah, it is. Uh oh, uh oh. Dexter is no, nowhere close. Okay, so another single for the Gold Coats. One on with no outs. Now batting. The second Bland Piddlestick, the second baseman, steps in. He's got some power. He's got some powers. But he can't catch me, yo. Whoop. He wanted that one. He did want that one, but he did not go for it. Oops. I was going to say, that's hard of the plate. <laughs> that's not good. That's ugly. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi. There's a roller to Torrance. She's going to flip to uh, Dexterous and over to Kingman for the double play. Two outs, nobody on it. In steps 
May Yugd? May Yugd? There's a pun in there somewhere, I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure where it is. Yeah, that's a strike, May. Almost fouled off. Oh, I don't know how she caught up to that one. Got her. All right. So, bottom of the second. Gina Torrance, Magic Moore, and Bertha Banks. Lathars threw 19 pitches in the first inning. Gave up a walk. Gold Coats out hitting our B-Wolves. 2 nothing, folks. Come on now. Let's hear it from you. Let's hear it from you. Throw it up in the chat. Gina. Leathers. Leathers. Like that. Come on. Do it. Do it. Ah. Dang, damn it. Boosh. Magic more. Come on, magic. Do some magic, magic. Whoop. H. That pitch is low. That pitch is outside, yo. Oh, come on. Too early. I think that's it. I think my, my, my timing is off. Because I thought I had that pitch lined up. Earth the Banks, the third base person. She's usually good for a homer. Pitch outside. Pitch high. 29. Ball three. Unless it's right there, don't swing at it. There it is. Up the middle, in the center field for a clean single. We got our first base hit. Um, yeah, because uh, Dexter has reached in the first on a walk. So Johnson Swanson, he is an RBI dud. He's only worried about himself, this Johnson Swanson. Whoa, 88 power. Come on, Johnson. That one's low. Come on, Johnson. Oh, late, late, but foul. Okay. All right, so we get another one. We'll get another one. That's ball three. It's got to bring it to us. Got to bring it to us. That's ball four. We'll take it. Runners at first and second now with two outs, though. So in steps Fran Japani, the pitcher. Too early in the game to uh, sit her down, so we're going to hope she can hit. Strike one. I don't know if I buy that out, but... Oh, that's fouled off. Now I put myself into a hole. No balls, two strikes. And that guy's dead. I just killed him. I just murdered that guy. <laughs> Hanley Dexterous, which is a shame because we had the guy on the ropes. We had made him... He had thrown a lot of pitches. He was struggling, and now he's going to leave the game. Bryce Leathers is going to take a seat. He got hurt. On a smash off a of frange upon his bat. And in comes Ricky Powerslide. Powerslide, the relief pitcher. He's got uh, better than average velocity. Good junk. So he throws it hard. He can get it to move. He's not very accurate, though. He's fully rested. He's got a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Bring me that junk. Bring me that meat. Oh, and I killed another one. I killed another one. That's two in a row. I'm just murdering their, their pitching staff. <laughs> Billy LeBlanc, 0 for 1 today, favors the high pitch. Space is still loaded. There goes Ricky Powerslide. He threw one pitch, and now he's going out. Ken Mid... Is that Midtown? Ken Midtown, the relief pitcher. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, less than average velocity. He's got good junk and uh, pretty good accuracy. Four-seam fastball, a slider, and a change of bases still loaded. B-Wolves up one to nothing. That's a power of 63. We fouled it straight back. Oh, that was the pitch, Pete. Why'd you let it go? Two. That's high in the air to left field. Do we go? No arm. There's no arm. Oh, that was the third out. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? 
So we only get one run. Uh, Stink wrestles Janet Booth and Ken Midtown coming up for the uh, Gold Coats in the top of the third. Chibani at 20 pitches with 1K and two, giving up two hits. Stank wrestles the third baseman. Stank wrestles. Stank wrestles. I want that bobblehead. Stank wrestles. That's a strike, Stank. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that, brother, because it's going to come for you. That's a foul straight back, yo. And now we're going this way. Uh-oh. Magic Moore on the run. Out in center field makes the catch. Not having much luck with the strikeouts with the Ks. Janet Booth, the left fielder. And yet we've kept them off of the, uh, off the board so far. Thanks to a couple of... Uh, Double plays. We uh, ended the first inning with one, and we uh, closed out the second. Well, no, we uh, we were able to to uh, clear the bases with a, in the second with a double play. So that has been very helpful. Bertha Banks with the bloop catch for the second out. Two down and in steps. Ken Midtown. Midtown. What you up to, Midtown? What you doing? What you doing, Midtown? You gonna take that as a strike? I wouldn't take that. Don't take that from me. That's a strike too, brother. Um, big sneeze. Boom! There it is. Okay, boogies everywhere. Just not so good. That's a high swing and a miss, and down goes Midtown. Down goes Midtown. So, uh, Gold Coats no runs, uh, and uh, B Wolves one runs. So one to nothing. B Wolves Buster Biggs, Kobe Kingman, and Gina Torrance gonna face Midtown who threw three pitches. Come on, Buster. That's a strike. Unfortunately, my my reticle was not on it. That one's outside ball one. That's in there for called second strike. That's going to be out of play. That was lucky. I really thought that was going to be. Foul that one off. Oh, roller to the second baseman. Piddle sticks. He'll pick it up and make the throw. One down, and in steps Kobe. 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 Foul along the first baseline. No balls, one strike. That's high ball one. Oosh. Ball two. Two and two. Oh, that was the pitch, Pete. You are swinging too early, brother. That's it. That's my. It's my timing. That's all. There's a shot. That'll get into center field for a clean single. Kobe Kingman standing at first with one out. And in steps Gina Torrens, 0 for 1. We released Torrens in the season. Um, made uh, Freddie Knox the uh, starting second baseman. That's a little high, ump. A little high, a little low. Ooh, that's down the line. That's going to be down the line. Come on, Kobe. 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 Kobe's going all the way. Kobe's going to come all the way around, and he's coming in to score. All right. Gina Torrens with a double. Bringing in good old Kobe Kingman, the speedster. The speedster. Played his college ball in uh, Oklahoma. That's a low ball one. Oof. Oh, Pete, again, throw the same pitch twice. You should have been able to really rock it that second time, but you didn't. You got underneath it. Get out of here. Go on. Get your butt out of here. Off the wall. Everybody's off the wall. All right, so Bertha Banks with a double off the wall to center field, and now the b is putting a little bit more space between them and the Gold Coats. J Johnson, J -J 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 Johnson Swanson. Goop. All three outs. 
Well, that was a good pitch. I understand why he went after it, but yeah, he didn't hit it very well. Okay, so we're going into the top of the fourth. Gold Coach, uh, no runs on two hits. b -Wolves, three runs on six hits. Gigi Kano, better handshake, and Miller and Tent's going to face Japan. The center fielder. All right, going into the top of the fourth. And, uh, let me clear my throat. Kick it over here, baby pop. That's a strike. That's what I, that's what I said right there. Strike. Uh-oh. Get up. No. All right, well, a clean single to left field. First, uh, the leadoff batter's on. Now batting, the catcher. Better handshake Number stepping five. into the box. What's happening here? What's going on? What's, what's, what's the haps? All right. All right. I'm a popular guy all of a sudden. All right. Uh, I'm going to go fastball up in it. Oh, I let it drift a little bit. Way to keep it in front of you, Buster. The first baseman, number 31. Very cool. Okay. Digging on that. Um, Tommy says the new B-Wolves game will post at 3 o'clock today on his YouTube channel. That's Tommy G's Gaming channel on YouTube. So if you want to see us drop a game to the Herbisaurs, go on over there. Tom's got um, the entire season in there, so you can always kind of get caught up. Uh, I'm going to go up here. Sometimes you can get him to chase that stuff. Oof. Uh oh. Foul ball. Okay. All right, so what am I going to do here? Because she is, she's uh, not letting me get past it with anything. Or he, I should say he. Come on, man, really? There it is, there it is. Although it got Fran to throw some pitches there. I didn't like that. So runners at first and second now with one out. In steps Lenny Masters. He's one for one with a single. I'm going to go, uh, let's do something like this. Oh, please, ump, that dropped in, bro, that dropped in. Oh, how? Double steal. I should have got that back one. Should have had that, uh oh All right, so we got the lead runner at third. Two outs, runners at first and second. Bland Piddlesticks, second baseman. He's 0 for 1 today. Um, what are we going to do? What are we gonna, how are we going to break Piddlesticks? We're going to break him. I'm going to take that first. I'm going to take that first pitch inside. Ball. Oh, we're going to leave it a little outside. See if we can't get it. Okay, okay. He was able, I, I'm surprised he was able to make contact. Since it was, it, I did intentionally leave it somewhat outside. Let's see if we get here. Nope, that's a little too high. A little too high for him. He doesn't like that high one. Oof, come on. Come on, brother. Don't, oh, she almost dropped that right down the middle. Three outs. Flip it to Gina Torres. So we're going into the bottom of the fourth. B Wolves holding on to a 3 0 lean. Fran Japani, one for one handed. Exterior's one for one with a walk. And Billy LeBoyne, 0 for two. Midtown's at 23 pitches. 23 pitches. How you doing? Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Ground ball to Masters. It's short. Throw over to Intense for the first out. One down. Henley Oh. Outside. I got him scared. <sighs> Foul. Johnson. 
Oh, Pete. Way early on that one. Two quick outs. Billy LeBoink stepping in. Come on, Billy. That's going to hang up in the air. Center fielder's going to get under it for the third out. So one, two, three in the fourth. Bottom of the fourth. Heading into the top of the fifth, it's still B Wolves three, Gold Coats now nothing. The right fielder, number 18. May you? May you? Uh oh, left that a little bit. H. It's too high. It's got to come down. Way to go, Magic. Catches it with his back to the ball. That was almost a big error right there. Stink wrestles. He's probably my favorite player right now. Stank wrestles. Stank wrestles. There's a pitch inside. I'm going to try and get him here on the low outside. There, got him. Okay, now let's get him with a with a bit of a. We'll get him right there. Strike three to Rob. I don't know if you. I'm hoping you can hear the ump because that's part of the fun. Janet Booth. Booth, Booth, Booth. What are we going to do for Janet Booth? Let's go up here. We're going to start this about chin level. We're going to bring this thing. Oh, couldn't get it. Couldn't get it in far enough. Let's see here. Outside. Way outside. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that in. I didn't not get that in. Got her. Now that I've thrown her the slow stuff, let's burn one faster. Oh, she wanted that one in the worst way. The worst way. She just said, oh, I want that in the worst way. She's going to watch that one go by for strike three. Didn't like the call, doesn't look like, but she's got to deal with it. Heading into the bottom of the fifth, still three, nothing. B Wolves. Buster Biggs, 0 for 2. Kobe King went 1 for 2. And Gina Torres, 1 for 2 with a double. Midtown at 30 pitches with one strikeout, giving up three hits. Buster Biggs, y'all. Let's get him going. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for him. Who's out there? That's low. Low and away. That one's a little too high. I almost killed another one of their pitchers. That's in the center field for a clean single for Buster Biggs. He's going to round first just to see what happens. But then come back, so... One on with no outs, and in steps Kobe. Kobe Kingman. That's a flare. That'll get through. Yep. Two singles for Kobe Kingman, although he's not really supposed to be hitting singles. He's supposed to hit home runs. <laughs> but we got runners at first and second with no outs, and in steps Gina Torrens. She's one for two with a double. Uh-oh. We're going to flip it and not get... So they get Kobe Kingman at second, but they don't get Gina Torrance. We've got runners at the corners now with one out. In steps Magic Moore. Uh-oh. And she's going to get picked off. Yep, she's going to get picked off. Oh, come on. How? Why didn't he die? All right, that was... That was horrible because he should have been back on the base. That was, I don't know why he was not considered on the base at that point. Oop. I thought I might be able to rescue her by showing, uh, getting, ah, oh, that's a strike. Move, dang. That petered out quickly, didn't it? We went from runners at first and second with no outs to nobody crossing the plate. <laughs> Ouch, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going into the top of the sixth. It's still 3 nothing. b -Wolves. Midtown, Kano, and Handshake. Going to face Japanese at 59 pitches with 5 Ks. Midtown's going to get pilled here. Um, the relief pitcher, they're going to bring in the really, uh, pinch hitter, Arcane Exuberantly Jr., Exuberantly Jr. is a uh, neutral but fit. Uh, does not have a lot of power. Very good, con well, good contact, not very good contact, and about mid uh, about moderate speed, so she can hit. Run! 
but she's not going to hit this time. So Gina Torres will pick that up toward the Kobe Kingman for the first out. So one down, and then steps Gigi Kano. Kano is locked in. She's got uh, she's two for two with two singles. So I believe she thinks she's all that and a bag of chips. I'm not real sure. Oh come on, oh. Why are you gonna do me like that? That's out. That's ball three. Oh, she swung at it though. Good for you, GG. That's another one. I'm lucky that that went foul. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's crazy talk. Foul that off. Foul that off. Strike three, got her. Got her. The catcher, number five. Better handshake with the catcher. One for two with a single. And it looks to me like Franny's getting full. Oh, Franny's getting uh, anticipated that mid count fastball. Strike. Strike. Foul ball. Come on now. Where are we at? Two and two. I'm going to see what we can get going on here. Wow, they are not. Usually they'll go for that. Roller to Torin. She'll pick it up, make the throw to Kobe Kingman at first for the third out. So we're going into the bottom of the sixth. Arcane Exuberantly Jr. will take a seat and Brew Rillo, Brew Rillo, Rillo, the relief pitcher, will come in. He uh, does not have a lot of velocity. He's got uh, better than average junk. He's got good accuracy. He's fully rested. He's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So as we head into the bottom of the sixth, it's still B-Wolves three, Gold Coats nothing. Bertha Banks stepping into the box. Let's see what she can do. Come on, Bertha. That was, that was a strike, Peter. That was a strike, too, but... Single up the middle in the center field, so the leadoff runner is on again in the top, in the bottom of the sixth. Bertha Banks says Mojo goes up. Johnson Swanson, 0 for 1 with a walk today. Come on, Johnson, he's not an, he's not an RBI hitter. That's outside. Ball one. Popped up. Shallow right center. Right fielder's calling it off. Young makes the catch. Oh, Bertha Banks is off of the oh, Bertha Banks is running. Oh. She's taking off. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we'll let her go. Top of the sixth. That's high ball one. Oh, that was low lump. I don't want to tell you your business, but your business is booming. That's going to be caught. Center field, though, you failed your Kano with the catch, so two outs, and uh, still Bertha Banks at first base. She does not have a lot of speed, so it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to try and steal with Bertha Banks. She just, she just doesn't have the speed for it. Ooh. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Oh, that's a weak fly that wrestles at third base. Struggling here. We're struggling. Miller intense. And Fran Japani's got to sneeze again. Come on, Fran. That one's outside. That one's inside. In there for called strike. We're going to go here. Oop, oop. That's a strike. Nice sliding catch by Magic Moore in center field for the first out. One down. Lenny Masters, the shortstop. He's going to take a pick up some lumber. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's going to pop that into center field. Magic Moore is going to walk just to show his disdain for the gold coats and everything they stand for. He's just going to walk over there, make that catch for the second out. Bland Piddlesticks is tense, but fit. He's 0 for 2 today. 
and uh, he's he's hitting piddly sticks right here. Oh, that was in there. Come on, come on up. I don't need to tell you your job, do I? There you go. There you go. Strike. Shut it down. That's it. Shut it down. Shut it down. We're going into the bottom of the seventh. Again, nine hits, only three runs. Gold coach, no runs on four hits. And hold on. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, sorry about that, I'm back. All right, so we're going into the bottom of the seventh. Billy LeBoink, Buster Biggs, and Kobe Kingman stepping up. LeBoink 0 for 3 today, favors the high pitch. Come on, Kobe, I mean, uh, Billy. That's low. Oh, wow, really? Oh, that is high. Keep running, Billy. Billy's the slowest guy on the team. One down, come on. Buster Biggs. Is that out of here? Did that have enough? Did Buster Biggs just crank one? Buster Biggs just cranked one. Okay. See, I can hit him. I can hit him. Although I was kind of upset because I haven't hit one yet. 394 feet. And that's uh, Buster Biggs going yard. Four nothing now. Kobe Kingman. Kobe Kingman is a he's a home run hitter himself. So, oh, that's going to be a base hit if he doesn't get there on oh, time. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Had to give him a little juice, a little gin and juice to get him going there. Come on, Gina. Oh, lifted into the air. That's going to be pop out to left field. Booth with the catch. Two down. Bland Piddle Sticks. Magic Moore. Magic Moore. That's a strike. Yeah, I knew that. Although I've been jumping on early pitches, so maybe letting them throw a couple isn't a bad thing. Yeah, we'll let them throw a couple. Oh, that'll get through. To right field for a clean single. So runners at first and second now with two outs. Piddle Sticks seems to be struggling. With his uh, with his pitching stuff, so low ball one, foul ball, foul ball, popped up. Two outs, popped up in the center field. Everybody's going to be running. Center fielder's under it. Kano makes the catch for the third out. But we put another one on the board thanks to the long ball by Buster Biggs. So we're going into the top of the eighth. Four nothing B-Wolves. May Yag, Stink Wrestles, and Janet Booth going to face off against Japani. All of them 0 for the day. Japani had 85 pitches with seven strikeouts. I'm not going to take too many chances. So far, she's got a shutout going. And I... Uh, you know, it's going to be one of those things that eight, she's on fire right now. Um, at 85 pitches, though, she could start to lose it really quickly. That's in there for called strike. That's fouled back. Let's try to put her away. Come on, Gina. Uh, Franny. That's a shot into center field. Magic Moore's going to have to. Oh, it's going to get past him. Throw in to the cutoff person over to Bertha Banks. So she leads off with a double. Again, this is what I was talking about. 
26. Stank wrestles. He's got some power, but he's 0 for 2 today. Um, do we try to... She's got some speed on her in the second base. Ah, oh, come on. Um, I hit that perfect. Strike three. Okay, one down. Runner at second. Janet Booth, she's 0 for 2 today as well. A little bit better than the average power. We're going to put her on the bench. Booth is going to take the seat. Womp Renette. Womp Renette going to come in and pinch hit for Janet Booth, the left fielder. Renette, uh, Renette plays third base. Uh, that's his primary position, so he may be out of position. Anyway, he's got a little better than average power, less than average contact and speed. So with one out and a runner at first base, Gold Coat's looking for the to, to score the, some points here. First one's a it's a strike. We're going with the off speed. Uh oh, oh that's going to be fair. Ah, there goes the shutout. God dang it. This guy's not even going to leave first base, so. Oh, man, there goes the shutout. All right, so it's 4-1. Brew Rillo is going to take a seat as well, the pitcher, and they're going to bring in Kate Farmer. Farmer, the pinch hitter, she's got that good power, um, but uh, poor contact at, and poor speed, so. Let's see what we can do here. That's him for a strike. There's a shot that's going to curve foul. So she's in the hole now. No balls, two strikes. We're going to go ahead and take this. Strike three. We got two outs now with a runner at first base. And it's Gigi Kano. Gigi Kano, two for three with two singles. So we got to be careful with Kano. She's been hitting pretty well so far today. Let's start her off with a two seam fastball. That's too far inside. That is too far, too many seams on that one. Oh, that's in the dirt. Dang. She's locked in right now. Um, oops. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie again. Oh. No, I think we just threw that, didn't we? What? Got her. Got her. All right, so Kate Farmer is going to get pulled. They're going to bring in Arms Gibbon. Arms Gibbon, the closing pitcher. He's got uh, better than ever, about average velocity, average junk, very good accuracy. Well, not very good, but good accuracy. He's got a four-seam fastball and a slider. As we head into the bottom of the eighth, it's still 4-1 B-Wolves. Johnson Swanson 0-2 with a walk. Japani 1-3, and Dick Steers 1-3 with a walk and a strikeout. Gibbons is pitching. <laughs> All right, Johnson Swanson. Womp Ronette, the third baseman's going to get yanked here. We're going to bring in L. Nor Norwest. Nor Norwest is going to play center field. Well, he's a center fielder. I think he's playing left field. Uh, he's neutral and fit. He's got uh, very good speed. He's got uh, uh, less than average arm, I mean, less than average fielding, but a very good arm. So that's what we're looking at. That one's too low. So this guy's coming sidearmed at us. That's in there for a strike. That's going to be a base hit into center field for a clean single. Johnson Swanson leads off with a single. <gasps> He's going for two. <laughs> Fran Japani. Whoa. Eighth inning. Yeah, she's tired. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to go with a pinch hitter. Betty Balmer. Freddie Knox, 
Better contact, better speed. Steve Bond Store. I'm gonna go Ruby Green. Ruby Green. Don't move the radical. That's in there for called strike, strike one. That's high ball one. One ball, one strike. Oh, that's a roller. And Ruby Green's gonna run it out. Yes. All right. So we got the force at second, but Ruby Green was able to beat out the relay. Um, not a very good hit, though. Not a very good hit for Ruby Green. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's gonna get into the. That looked like it was gonna get caught. Ruby Green pulling in the second. That looked like it was gonna get caught by the third baseman. So runners at first and second now. With one out, two outs, one out, two outs. One out, two out, two out, one out, one out, two out. Outside, ball one. Bring me that meat. That's too high ball two. Come on, brother. You know you gotta bring it to me. That's ball three. Ball four, bases loaded now with one out. Now batting the left fielder. Buster Biggs, the left fielder coming in. Hope you're enjoying the game, folks. Oh, please. That, that's what I call a please bitch. That's outside ball one. Come on, meat. Give me it. Give me that pitch, meat. Oh, no. Dag nabbit. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I thought he was in there, but we still get the we get one of the runs. All right, so we're going into the top of the ninth, and I'm going to go with uh, Smack Avery, the closing pitcher. B Wolves up five to one, out hitting the Gold Coast fourteen to six. Better handshake one for three. Miller intense zero for three with a strikeout. Lenny Masters one for three. Avery, the closing pitcher, coming in for the B Wolves. So God dang, God dang, Danga, Denga. That should be a new game that you play with wooden blocks. Denga! Oops, she's going to be waiting on that pitch. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go again. I'm moving around a little bit. Ooh, got enough of that to... That's right. Strike three, you're out. That's what they say when you are out. Number 31. Take back all the rotten things they said about you, Ump. You're a good guy. You're a class act. I'm going to name my kids after you, Ump. Look at that. See? You're going to be the godparents of my kids right there. Oh, that's a folly bolly. Uh, I'm going to come up over here. That's strike three. You're out, buddy. You're out, buddy. Hang the head. Hang the head in shame and disgrace. Lenny Masters, one for three with a single. That's a strike. The ump calls that a strike, Lenny. I'm not sure if you're aware of how the game is played. That's a swing and a miss, Lenny. Uh, nobody's paying you to do that, Lenny. Oh, you're done, Lenny. See ya. B-Wolves win, ladies and gentlemen. B-Wolves win. Gold Coats uh, were able to muster one run off of six hits. That run not coming until the eighth inning when the game was all but over. Phoenix B-Wolves rack up five runs on 14 hits. They start early. They put one on the board in the second. Provide a little space in the third when they tack on two more, making it 3 nothing. They were able to generate a... Fourth run in the seventh inning. It's four to nothing before the Gold Coats score their, score their first run, making it four to one. And then again, the insurance run in the eighth, making it five to one. If you look at the Gold Coats, they played everybody on their bench, although a lot of their pitchers went down. There were two pitchers back to back who took shots. Kano, two for four with two strikeouts. Handshake, one for four with a strikeout. Intense, 0 oh for four with two strikeouts. You got Masters with one for four with a strikeout. Piddle sticks 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Um, how many strikeouts all total? 13. 13 in all, folks. Uh, 
Stank wrestles went 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. I'd still put him on my my uh, I'd still put him on my roster just because I like saying stank wrestles. <laughs> that's that's the only reason why. Because <laughs> it brings joy to my face and a smile. That's what you want. Uh, B wolves not a whole lot of substitutions over there. It looks like almost everybody hit, unless, except Billy LeBoink, uh, the uh, the elder statesman, 0 for 4. Although he did walk once. Biggs goes two for five. He scored a run, hit a home run, had two RBIs on the day. So good for him. Bertha Banks, three for four. That's a good outing for her. Kobe Kingman, three for four. Although he's supposed to be hitting dingers and he didn't hit any. But yeah, three for four, both of them. Um, and then you got uh, two for four from Dexterous. Everybody else with a, with a run. So pitching wise. Uh, Leathers will take the loss. He only pitched an inning and two thirds before getting taking a shot off the chops. He gave up two hits, one earned run, two walks. Um, power slide came in and faced one batter through one pitch and uh, took a took a shot <laughs> off the nugget, so he was gone. Uh, Midtown came in, pitched pretty well. He went three and a third. He only gave up five hits, two earned runs. He struck out one, so not bad. Rillo. Uh, came in, pitched two innings, gave up four hits, one earned run. He gave up the home run to Buster Biggs. And then Gibbon came in and closed it out. Pitched the ninth, uh, the bottom of the eighth. Pitched the bottom of the eighth, gave up two hits, an earned run, and a walk. While over on our side, Fran Japani went eight innings, only gave up six hits and one earned run. She, she set down ten. She sat down ten. Ten Ks on the day. Smoke Avery came in, pitched one inning. Three Ks. Faced three batters, got three Ks, done and done. Top three players of the game. First star goes to Fran Japani, the starting pitcher, of course, at eight, uh, pitching eight innings, giving up six hits and earned run and 10 Ks. That's a, that's a pretty good day at the office. Second star of the game, Buster Biggs, the left fielder. He goes two for five. He hits that big home run. That's, uh, I think it was a solo shot, but again, first one to leave the, the yard. So two for five with a home run, two RBI score to run. And then the third star of the game, Bertha Banks. She goes three for four with a double and RBI, and she scored a run. So there it is, folks. A little bit of fun at the ballpark. Um, I think I might try to fold this in a little bit more often. Uh, again, just kind of a special one-off. Uh, I do enjoy the game a lot. I love the game. Uh, Tommy and I do a whole broadcasting. Tommy adds, uh, um, you know, adds different elements and stuff. So I will, uh, I will, uh, to my dying day, suggest get over there, check out Tommy G's gaming channel on YouTube, and and he's got uh, not just this season. I think this is our, uh, this is our third season with the B Wolves. So there's two other seasons on there. There's also a season with the um, Overdogs, and our very first season, which was uh, Super Mega Baseball Two, uh, with the uh, Freebooters. So there's at least five seasons of, of uh, super mega baseball on tommy's channel on youtube check it out give it a give it a gander give it a follow give it a like give it a dollar i don't know give it something <laughs> give it something but i hope you enjoyed it like i say i'm hoping to bring some more of this into uh, play uh as we go on so if you enjoy it please uh, follow the channel subscribe to the channel hit the little bell do whatever you got to do and uh, we will keep up with you. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. And until I see you, be safe, be well, be good, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.